The first step in marketing is logo design. Hi, I'm David Grubb from Shepherd's Loft Web Design Agency. Today I want to talk to you about the process. We design and build websites, but oftentimes we don't have any much, very much to work with. And so when we're able to stop and take a minute and help enhance or create a logo and then also to write the story or kind of build the path for your customer, then we're able to really put together a branding with the website. The logo is very, very important because it displays the fonts, the colors, and the shapes that people are going to recognize in order, you know, as it relates to your business. Uh, so branding really starts with a logo design. And quite simply, a logo is a simple graphic that represents your business. And I've got some examples here on the screen. The logo is the anchor for your brand and it determines the design, look, and feel for all your marketing materials. So it really makes sense that you've got to start with a logo design. You have to define who your audience is, write out their path, create your logo, and then you can start your online social media accounts, your website, and your offline marketing materials. So, and I got a little statistic here to share with you, 90% of the first impressions of a brand come from their logo alone. And it's been proven that people, when they recognize a brand or a logo, that they're more likely to make a purchase because they it is something that they're familiar with. So it has a huge impact on your business down the line. Uh, so when we can take the time to be able to help with that, then it definitely increases the business's income. Now, we, we always kind of use the term logo really loosely, so I want to define some specific terms for you before we move on. Oftentimes, you'll see like a profile icon, like on Facebook or something, and typically it's just a symbol. You know, so in our case, using Shepherd's Loft as an example, the lamb is the symbol for our business, and it's pretty easy to associate that lamb with Shepherd's Loft. Uh, so the symbol is or icon represents the brand and is often used on products and, so, and social media profiles. The the name, the logo name, number two here, is quite simply the name of the company written out in some fonts and maybe it has a specific color. So when it stands alone by itself and it's just the name, we refer that to that as the logo name. When we put the two together, when we put the symbol together with the name, we have a combination mark. So a company symbol and name combined together and makes this this combination mark but we often refer to this as just a logo we don't really think of it in specific terms but if you hear the the terminology the symbol or the logo name then you can understand what that means it's the individual components of your logo design so what I want to do is I want to take you through some logos that we've enhanced for some customers of ours and then I also want to show you some logos that we have started from scratch and kind of talk about the difference in the creation process here is an example of a logo before and after on the left side of the screen you can see the before logo and the matching website the panorama orchards had a a picture of an apple out to the side of their logo name so we had a symbol the apple right and we had the name panorama orchards and it was kinda typeset and had a little bit of color so we had a logo name and we had a symbol but it didn't really all fit together and you can see it's kind of hard to read, especially on the dark colored background. Now, the website, it was really big, uh, but again, it was kind of difficult to read, and it took up a lot of space there. We redid the logo. We incorporated the Apple into the actual name, and we modernized the fonts. A lot of times when we're looking at logos, they've been there for a really long time, and we don't really want to make drastic changes, but we do want to enhance the logos or modernize the symbols or the fonts 
to just kind of keep up with the times. And that's a standard practice. Uh, in fact, if you haven't changed your logo in five to eight years, it's a good it's a good time to maybe look at that and see what you can do to enhance it and make it. You want to stay in the general ballpark with the colors of the fonts, but there should be a way to improve it. And this was a pretty drastic improvement. And you can see the new logo that we made over on the right. It's a whole lot more readable than the logo was before. So it was a huge improvement in terms of uh, just readability. And when you see it on the website, it really sticks out. It's very, very easy to read. We put it in twice. We put the color version at the top, but then we also put a reverse logo, which means the opposite colors, right? So it's displayed as white on a color background, which makes it very, very easy to re read. The, uh, the next example I have for you is Modern Rustic Homes. And in this case, uh, he had a nice, neat little style with the log cabin in the roof, but the logo was very wide. And this is actually the original website. So, uh, so not only were we able to look at the previous logo uh, and the previous website, but we're also able to see the new logo and the new website together. So on the left, this was the old logo. It was really just kind of a logo name with a little symbol added. It was very simple uh, and it was okay. It was pretty good. Uh, the name speaks for itself. On the website, it was not so good. Uh, it was this tan or reddish color on a tan background. It's not very readable and it wasn't quite as recognizable as it could be. So when we redid the logo, uh, we were able to stack uh, the second part, Rustic Homes, underneath Modern and it really kind of built this this layer almost like a two-story home so it even made the log cabin even better uh, so it was a little bit of an improvement but it was it's so much more readable and even though it's really small on the website when we reversed it out it actually had a very good presence on the website and I can show you the full websites in just a minute but I want to get through these first uh, the next design uh, that we did, and you could say, argue that this was actually completely from scratch. So when we did the cabin rentals of Blue Ridge, before all we had was this little typeset. It was, the text was a script font, which, you know, kind of dates it a little bit, but it was, it's, there's nothing here recognizable. There's no color and there's no icon or symbol for the logo. So when we redid it, we really wanted to kind of bring it back together with and for what she provides. So the cabin rentals, I mean, you should have a symbol of a cabin, right? So it's a nice little symbol, uh, you know, an icon of a cabin with a with a tree and a mountain behind it. So you kind of really get that mountain type feel that you would where we are in Blue Ridge. So this was a huge enhancement. You can see before on the website. Just a little bit of text up here, no color, no shapes. And then we built, built the new website and we added the new logo on there. You can see the symbol that's, that's on there. Even though it's shrunk down and it's really tiny, you can still see that there's a symbol there. And that makes it more recognizable and easier to remember. Now here I've got some, some new logo designs I'm going to go over, but first I want to show you what those enhanced logos looked like on the actual websites. <laughs> so here's the Modern Rustic Combs website, so you can see now it's, it's full size. You can see how clean and clear and organized the logo is over on the top left corner. It really enhanced uh, the presence of the logo itself, and it's just, it's just tighter. And, you know, little bitty tweaks can can make a big difference. The Panorama Orchards, here's how the site looks now. It's a lot more readable, it's a lot more clear, it's more incorporated, um, big changes uh, there. And here's one that I didn't mention, I'm gonna mention next, is uh, Michael didn't actually have a logo to, at all. He had this symbol of, which was kind of a, like a family symbol, uh, and we incorporated that in with his name, Michael Sheehan Drywall. And so we would put that together for him to create to create a logo, a combination mark. And then this is a new logo as well for White Path Lodge and Resort. 
and this is what it looks like on the website and then finally the cabin rentals you can see that it's very clear and recognizable on down the page you can see logos that we have designed from scratch now some of these took uh, only a little bit of time and other ones took quite a bit of time so it's really kind of difficult to estimate the cost of a logo because it can take from anywhere from an hour to eight hours worth of work and it also can take a a time period it could take a day or it could take three months so it really kind of just depends on how much documentation we have if we had if we know the story of the customer and their journey through your process and what the what who they are and what is best representative or associated with them so it really takes a wide variety of both uh, you know length of time and time period to design and create logos so so here's some of the ones that uh, we have created the modern rustic home was just an enhancement the white path logo we actually were able to do this in a day we were really inspired by the history and native americans of the white path chief white path and we're able to come up with a very simple logo in just only a day uh, so we still got to create uh, the other files and things but what a great opportunity to turn around something very quickly the De bones defense uh, we spent quite a lot of time discussing who his target audience was and what was going to best represent uh, we knew that we wanted to kind of do a a kind of a spoof if you will off of ham bone his nickname bones defense has come from the ham bone which is related to a pig so we knew that we wanted to have the pig on there but we really had to think through who that audience is, was that he was trying to reach and they were sportsmen or competition type people so coming so developing that pig took a time period and a moderately amount of time to actually design and create uh, some of the other logos, the cabin rentals, was actually a pretty simple and straightforward uh, logo designed, mostly from scratch, didn't have a lot to work with in the beginning. The landscape design innovations was a little bit more uh, detail oriented with the, you know, the rocks and the types of flowers and the colors and the combinations. So that took quite a bit longer and more time. The mountain oasis, same thing there. Uh, very detail oriented type, type design. Uh, the Michael Sheehan kind of just kind of came together quickly because he had this this Irish type theme and the shield that represented his family. And then we just found some fonts that complemented that. So it actually came together kind of quickly. The Panorama Orchards was very simple and straightforward, just incorporating the apple into the name. Uh, you know, so it didn't take a lot of time or period uh, to create that one. The Lamonico was a little bit more sophisticated because we had to, you know, kind of think through. He's building lock homes and the, the pine branches and are, are, you know, in the, in the pine combs would help communicate uh, that meaning behind what it is that he did in the track. So those are some of the web designs, and I hope that you can see how important fonts colors and shapes can really uh, kind of give your brand a starting point and a launching pad to just to together with your you know your story to build a brand uh, before you do build a social media accounts or a website because once these pieces are in place it's really easy to do the other components things start to really kind of flow and fall in, into place and that's why it's so important to either enhance your logo or to come in and create a new one before you begin so thank you for listening this is david grubb from shepherd's loft web design agency we were out to find websites on the brink of technology failure and turn them into something awesome